Okay, let's settle the score. Click funnels or high level. On this channel, we're all about no nonsense comparisons, no hype, no fluff. So I'm just gonna give it to you straight, which one should you use? And I'm not gonna put any bias into this. We're just going to cover the categories that you see on the screen now, and we're gonna assign a winner for each one. First up, pricing. High level pricing starts at 97 a month, which includes almost every single feature that high level has. They really don't feature gate that much, but the catch is that you only get three sub accounts. If you don't know what that means, high level was originally built for agencies. So it means that you have an umbrella account where you can put three clients or three different businesses underneath that umbrella account. The second plan on high level is 297, which does come with a few extra benefits, but the biggest one being unlimited accounts, truly unlimited. Keep in mind that you do have to pay for SMS and email and other rebilling costs Cost, but it's all completely dependent on how much you and your clients use and you can rebill it to your clients so that you don't actually end up paying for it and then lastly you have the 497 option with high level which allows you to go into SaaS mode which means that you can create up to 20 different SaaS plans to resell high level to your customers and automatically create those sub accounts from a checkout page and go all out with the SaaS model and another benefit with the 497 plan is that it allows you not only to resell but to upsell the incremental costs like SMS and email so that you can make more money off of your clients that way really smart and now to click funnels like high level they have three plans but the lowest one starts at 147 and the highest one goes up to 297 and as you can see on the screen here the main differences here have to do with the number of websites you're allowed the number of funnels you're allowed the number of users you're allowed the number of domains you're allowed and the number of contacts you're allowed honestly when you look at these two right next to each other it's laughable how much high level provides compared to what click funnels is offering here it's the classic hey i'm going to feature gate you this many users users, this many contacts, etc. And high level is just like, no, you can have it all on the 97 plan. Just three accounts, which is the maximum that ClickFunnels ever allows, which is that websites there, by the way, that's kind of their version of the sub account. They call it a workspace, but the maximum you can have is three on their highest plan. And high level gives that away on the 97 plan. So if we had to declare a winner here, it's obvious high level. Good job. Okay. Okay. I hear you saying Keaton, your bias is starting to creep in. I promise you it's not. Let's talk about the features. Who is offering what, who is offering more and not just for you, but for your clients. I made a massive list of all the features of high level and compared them to all the features of ClickFunnels. And this is what I came up with on the screen. The main difference between these two is that ClickFunnels is not really a CRM. It's not a place where you want all your leads to live because you can't provide the touch points that you actually need to like texting, calling, emailing, Facebook messaging, Instagram messaging, WhatsApp messaging, all the messaging like you can in high level. That's okay. Okay. They're different. They're just different softwares at this point. High level is a CRM. ClickFunnels is a funnel builder, but wait, ClickFunnels has work flows, which is like automations. Does high level offer that? Yes. Okay. So high level is kind of like a CRM, but it has automations too. Well, does it have a funnel builder? Yeah, it does. Is the funnel builder just as good or better than click funnel? Yeah, it is. So the thing that should become abundantly clear as we look at this list of comparisons is that click funnels is built for a core set of things that it kind of can do. We'll get into that later. I wanted to say it can do really well, but based on the experience of many, many people I've talked to, it can't even do the things that it says it can do well. And high level on the other hand, and has taken those core features and then built way more on top of it so that you can do everything you need to do in one spot. And it does look like ClickFunnels is trying to move more towards what high level can do, but based on their track record in the past with delivering new features, updating the software, listening to the customers and building what they actually need, I have to doubt that they're going to be able to catch up to what high level is doing, especially at the speed at which high level releases new stuff, which is pretty much every single day at this point. So if we had to pick a winner when it came to number, quality and usability of features, the award goes to high level again. So that's two to zero so far. All right, now let's talk about ease of setup. This is a huge thing because if you're moving your business over, you're starting your business and you're trying to get set up on a software, you need to do that relatively quickly because you don't have all the time in the world. And ClickFunnels, I've got to hand it to them, does a pretty decent job of this. Once you get in, you get a checklist, video tutorials, it walks you around the software. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Now, when it comes to high level, we really have to consider two things. There's your client's access to their individual sub account and their experience experience there. And then there's your experience getting set up as the agency owner. Even if you're not an agency owner, you know what I mean? Let's talk about your experience first. A lot
lot of people have a hard time getting up and running with high level. And it's not because the software isn't intuitive in my opinion, it's because there's so much. There's so many features that it's hard to tell which one of these matters and which one of these doesn't. And that's why I recommend people join with my affiliate link so that they can get the course to actually show them around the software. Now, are there a lot of help docs? Are there a lot of education pieces from high level themselves? Absolutely, you can walk through video after video after video of how to use the software and their help docs are quite good. But is it as easy to set up as ClickFunnels? No, because there's literally 10 times more to set up. However, when it comes to your client's experience getting set up on the software, High Level has this super helpful launchpad feature that guides your users and it's just a sticky place for them to always go back to and say, oh, this is the next thing I should do. This is the next thing I should do. And it works pretty well. A lot of people end up using this. Plus, High Level is so customizable that you can add your own feature guides like those ones that you've seen on different softwares as you join and cut down on your support tickets that way. A software in the High Level community that does this is called GHL Plugins and you can get it for a very nominal fee. So looking at these two, ClickFunnels obviously wins on ease of setup, but again, not really a fair comparison considering high levels abundance of features. All right, next up, the actual interface and user experience inside the platform. I have to say ClickFunnels definitely takes the lead here, at least for their flagship product, which is Funnels as a very clean, modern design. They did really well in 2.0, at least at making it look nice. But again, functionality is another thing. When I was making this review, I logged into ClickFunnels for the first time in three plus years, and this is the error I got. I think if I just cleared my cache, it would have worked. But the fact that I hadn't logged into the software for three years and that was my experience, like why? <laughs> now, when it comes to high levels user interface, honestly, I love it. I think a lot of people say it looks old. I just don't love it. But they're making all these UI updates recently. First of all, like the workflow went from kind of old looking to very modern looking. The dashboard, same thing. But to be honest, I don't really care because it's so useful. Like all the features actually work. And if there's a bug, it's it's probably user error is what I found. A lot of people get into high level and they're like, oh, I have to send all these support tickets. Things aren't working the way that they're supposed to. And to be honest, once I got through the first about six months of using the software, I didn't have to contact support as much as I used to because I really understood the platform and I understood that I was trying to use it wrong. Now, it's likely that most people are going to have that same experience with every software when it comes to learning how to use it. But I do know that a lot of people look at high levels and they're like, I don't love this UI. It doesn't look as clean as I want it to. But I think that's kind of the idea. Like you're supposed to take what it looks like and then pretty it up on behalf of your clients and make it your own. They're the garden. You're just supposed to grow the flowers. But for the sake of argument today, we're going to give the overall pick to ClickFunnels. All right, next up integrations. High level has been at this for a while and man, do they have a lot in there. It's not really fair comparing it to ClickFunnels because ClickFunnels doesn't have all of these features like invoices, proposals, and estimates and social planner like high level does. But again, it just goes to show like if you could pay 97 for high level and 147 for ClickFunnels, like the comparison is just not there on the feature side and therefore on the integration side. I think the biggest place that high level stands out here is in their conversations dashboard. You can bring in conversations from almost every single platform to one spot, which is so valuable. And in ClickFunnels, you just can't. The SMS capability is barely getting rolled out to people. And that's the only way you can talk to people besides email. And as you can see on the screen now, the integrations that ClickFunnels includes are just completely replaced by high level. High level can send the emails for you. High level has all the features of Keep and Pipedrive and HubSpot, so you don't need to connect to them because it's already in there. So while we were previously tied at two to two, High Level takes the lead with integrations, leaving ClickFunnels behind. But there is a final category, and that is support. What's really cool about High Level is they have a 24/7 Zoom room that you can hop in and ask people questions. So they have people all over the world working around the clock for their customers to hop on. They go to Speak with Us forward slash Success, and they can get on a call and actually have somebody walk them through the issue that they're having. Now, I will say because high level is so complicated, a lot of these support reps are fairly green and it's not rare for you to know more about the software than them. Now, a pro tip in that case is to ask them to bring a manager in who can help them. But I foresee this becoming less and less of a problem over time as their support team matures and they're able to bring in more and more senior people that can train the other people. And I know they're planning on keeping this support Zoom room up like forever to help their customers 
So that's pretty amazing. And definitely Trump's ClickFunnels email only support, which responds after one business day, like pretty embarrassingly, honestly. So although you already know the score before we reveal the final winner, I want to talk about a few other considerations. ClickFunnels has never been able to deliver a quality product. Never. When ClickFunnels Classic was released, super buggy, the funnels like didn't work as well as they could have. And although, you know, big fancy Garrett J. White and all these other people who were champions of Russell Brunson were saying that this was a quantum leap from Kajabi to ClickFunnels, it was not. Kajabi ran circles around ClickFunnels when it came to usability and all the other things that really needed to happen for you to run your business on an entire software. Now, fast forward, they're releasing ClickFunnels 2.0. Insanely, they're going to get rid of all the affiliate commissions and all those people that worked really hard to grow their business through affiliate marketing. They're going to say, no, you have to now get people onto ClickFunnels 2.0. So there's this massive new big push for that. But what happened, I wasn't there, but according to multiple people in the community that I have spoken to, ClickFunnels 2.0 wasn't ready to launch. And there was a bit of a tussle between the co-founders backstage. And the technical co-founder said, it's not ready. And Russell Brunson said, we have to launch it now. And he announces at Funnel Hacking Live 2021, hey, we're going to launch this ClickFunnels 2.0. It's so exciting. And then in the following months, there was fallout. Everyone was like, this thing isn't even usable. The features aren't released. Like, what is the point of being on the software? Fast forward a year, it's still not finished. It's not done. And I feel like after that, you've just screwed yourself. Like you've lost the respect and the trust of your most loyal customers. Many of them who are leaving you for high level for obvious reasons. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Russell Brunson's books. I think he's a genius marketer. But one thing he always talks about is how it doesn't matter how good your product or service is. It just matters how good you are at marketing. I could not disagree more. All of the best entrepreneurs in the world focus on product first, marketing and advertising second, because they know if the product is good, they will get preferred out and they'll have a long-term sustainable business. And that's probably why this graph that shows websites built with ClickFunnels is declining in recent years because of everything that's been going on there. And by the way, I almost forgot this. In 2022, ClickFunnels crashed on Black Friday. They crashed. Can you imagine building your entire business on that, running the sale of of the year to your ClickFunnels site and having it go down. I'm just, I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole if it were me. So again, you already know the score, but who's the winner here? Drum roll, please. High level with a score of four to two. Guys, if you're not on the high level train yet, I highly suggest you get on there. It's amazing. I use it every day. I run my entire business from it. And I truly believe it's the best platform on the planet for any small business that's looking to grow. Go ahead and click my link below and you'll get a ton of bonuses included with your purchase of high level plus ongoing support and monthly calls with myself. Looking forward to seeing you there. Talk soon.